We have some breaking news out of New York Comic Con, folks. It's been a crazy weekend. I've seen some awesome videos, some crazy videos, and just a whole bunch of content coming out of New York Comic Con. In this video, I just want to kind of reflect on it and also talk a little bit about the state of the market, the state of the community, and things like that. But the breaking news here, folks, and this might come as a shock to some of you, is collectors collect and sellers sell. Now, stick with me for a moment as I, you know, qualify that statement, but what I'm saying is collectors collect comics. Oh, I can't believe I can't believe people are lining up to buy that foil really? You can't believe that people are lining up to collect comic books? That's what we do. Collectors collect. Well, I can't believe that that seller is selling that foil comic book on whatnot. Really? You, you, you can't believe that a seller is selling comics? When are we going to stop being surprised that collectors collect and sellers sell? And what I would like to see is a closing of the divide of the two and a realization, just a shift in framework and thinking of the fact that this is a community Okay, if you are a collector or a seller or a little bit of both, most collectors actually sell as well. I'm somebody who is both a collector and a seller. And I think at some point, most collectors sell a little bit on the side. Maybe you get tired of what you have and you want to sell it so you can collect the new thing. And I'd like to see a change and a shift in this divide that, you know, there's collectors and sellers and, and really a realization that we all come together to make a community. If you're watching this video, you are part of the comic book community. I mean, the only people I can think that, you know, maybe watch this video that aren't a comic collector is like my mom and dad. Shout out to mom and dad. Love you too. But everyone else, it, it, for the most part, watching this should be a comic book collector. And that means that you are a part of of a community and i from what i'm seeing with some of this behavior is i think a lot of people don't look at it that way a lot of people look at it as it's me against the world it's me against all the other collectors instead of the the idea that we're all part of a community and your actions affect the overall health of the community if you are a shitty seller and you rip people off or you're dishonest that deteriorates the overall health of of the community. And if on the flip side, if you're a shitty buyer and you're trying to rip off a seller, you know, we see it all the time on eBay with people that are, you know, trying to return something or get a refund or a partial refund is just lying to get the collectible cheaper. That action, those behaviors are deteriorating the overall health of the community. And I think that we can do better as a community. Some of these videos that I'm seeing coming out of New York Comic Con, you know, you see people with their backpacks and their suitcases and they're, you know, lining up and they're oftentimes throwing elbows and there's fights breaking out over getting the set exclusives. You could put it in your backpack and go home and I don't know, maybe like admire all of your collectibles and just no regard whatsoever for your fellow collector and fellow human being and what you did to acquire said collectible. Or maybe you take it home just so you can put it up on eBay and flip it. Now, I'm not criticizing the idea of flipping comics. You know, I think that the market dictates what something is worth. If you want to buy Buy the Peach Momoko Spawn variant and instantly go turn around and put it on eBay. I mean, the market dictates what it's going to be worth, all right? So that's not the flipper's fault. I'm talking about the behavior and the utter disregard for fellow collectors to get that thing. That's what's just kind of gross to me. And that's what I think we can do better as a community. Now, I'm not saying that it was all bad. I, there's there was a lot of really cool experiences and stories and, you know, just awesome collecting stories that I've seen come out of New York Comic Con. There's a lot of positive as well. But I just think that there is tons of room for growth from us as a community. And I just wanted to present this video to present the question to you, what contribution are you 
you making to the community? Have you ever considered that you're a part of something? I mean, if you were to think of like, say, like a church community or a family, you know, you think about your actions in that community and you you don't take it lightly. You know that what you do think, say, and how you treat other people has an effect on the overall health. But have you ever thought of it that way for the comic book collecting community? And what contribution are you making? Are you contributing kindness, love, transparency, honesty, respect, or are you contributing greed, maybe an elbow or two? <laughs> you know, it just I just wonder if some people just have never really thought about it. And, you know, I'm not like totally deluded. I don't think that it's ever going to completely change. I know this is always going to continue to some extent or another, but, you know, I also have a platform and I want to use my platform to try to influence this thing that I'm a part of that's my career and my hobby and my passion, and maybe, just maybe, a couple people will hear it and, and you know, think and reflect and maybe act differently. So I want to talk, though, a little bit about the state of the market and the health of the hobby in terms of sales and say that People are still buying comics, you know, especially if you have them listed at a fair price. You know, and it's really cool to me to see these massive crowds and lines of people at New York Comic Con and the fact that like this this hobby is alive and well. I mean, it's not going anywhere. Of course, there's always going to be people leaving the hobby. There's always going to be people coming in. But I think that we're at a place where it's clear that, you know, this is a somewhat healthy community as far as comic book sales. Now, from my own experience on my website, for example, and the stuff that I see come through my shop, there's stuff that is really easy to get full FMV for, you know, or at least very close to full FMV. Like when I get a collection in, I, I can pretty much tell what is going to sell right away and what's going to stick around for a little bit and what I'm going to have to discount a little bit. And I kind of have a little bit of a system on my website, you know, is, you know, push, push the new product out first and just have the 10% off. And then if it sits there for a long time, I'll run like a 15% off. And sometimes I'll do like a 20% off, you know, from dealer standpoint just reflecting on what i'm seeing you know as far as sales and stuff is we're still in a decline right when i'm pricing these comic book collections that come in it's almost every single day someone sends me a list and i price it it's still in a decline but if you list things at a fair price they do sell except for you know like those few exceptions where you're gonna have to discount stuff and that's one thing that a lot of people don't realize when you know when you're buying a comic collection from somebody is they'll say well the last sale was you know five or six hundred dollars and it's like yeah but that was one sale in the last six months that sale was three months ago we're in a decline market like i'm not going to get five or six hundred dollars for that book today at least not if i want to sell it today if i want to put five or six hundred dollars on it and let it sit for three months that's something else so i guess i would say i'm cautiously optimistic about the state of the comic market for you know sales prices i think we're still in a, a gradual decline hopefully we hit that turning point at some point because we will hit a turning point at some point where it starts to gradually go back up but we're not there yet at least least not from what I'm seeing in sales. It could be right around the corner, but it's also encouraging to see such interest in new products, new stuff, foil exclusives. I mean, I know there's so many foil exclusives, but they're cool. It's like, there's, it's no wonder people like to collect a limited edition con foil exclusive. It's shiny. It's awesome. It reprints the thing that we already like. I mean, it makes perfect sense that it's selling. And I think that that indicates strength in the hobby. And it's like Stan Lee always said, you gotta give the people what they want. Stan Lee went on record to say, if people want romance, we're going to give them romance comics. If they want Westerns, we're going to give them Westerns. If they want superheroes, we're going to give them super. The market dictates what people want. And like Todd McFarlane says, you know, like as a businessman, he says, if you see people People gathering in a certain area, that's what you should get gravitate towards as a business. And if it's shiny con exclusives, that's what's selling. That's what people want. That's what we're going to give people. And then naturally, there's ebbs and flows, you know, and if the attention focuses somewhere else, that's what we're going to do. So just realize that we're all a part of a community and what we demand and what we buy is what is produced. People and dealers and sellers are going to produce the thing that people want. And ask yourself, 
what kind of contribution are you making to this hobby? So thank you for listening to my rant. You know, it's just after seeing all of the chaos that has come out of New York Comic Con, I just felt like I needed to say this. And I appreciate you listening to the whole thing. Don't forget we have giveaways here on the YouTube channel. If you subscribe, comment, and like, you're entered to win a Todd McFarlane Spider-Man this month. And if you sign up for that newsletter at BriceComics.com, you're also entered to win a free slab, another Todd McFarlane Spider-Man for the month of October. I also send out discounts codes over there we have great deals on comics if you're a comic book collector i got you link down in the description for 15 dollars towards your first purchase on whatnot we're going to have slab shows for the foreseeable future on fridays with one dollar starts chance at a thousand dollars in store credit tons of giveaways and a ton of fun over on whatnot and i hope to see you there so stay positive folks collect what you love and bring some positivity to this community i appreciate you we'll see you in the next video bye